No, this isn't right. What am I doing? I'm not Darkseid. I'm not Sith. You seemed pretty Darkseid when you murdered your enemies in rage. They were Sith. If I let them live, I'm responsible for all the other people they murder. As a Jedi, I've sworn to end this war, even if I have to kill every Sith in the galaxy. There can never be peace in the galaxy as long as the Sith exist. The Sith thrive on endless war. So, let's say you kill all the Sith. The really important ones, at least. What then? You can't kill them all, and the survivors will bicker amongst themselves. Someone will fill the power vacuum, maybe someone powerful enough to unite the Sith. You might prefer the evil you know. So what do you propose? How will you change the Empire? The Empire needs strong, rational leadership. A rational Empire is a peaceful one. And you think you can provide that? I will not go against the Jedi teachings or my conscience. But I'll do what I can. I'm realizing there's a lot I don't understand about the Empire. I don't expect a Jedi to understand. But the Empire is strength and freedom. They certainly talk a lot about strength, but freedom? From what I've seen, that belongs to a select few. Slavery is everywhere. And even among the so-called free, only the Sith act with any sort of independence. It's hard to see good in an Empire that thinks of non-humans as nothing more than slaves. The Empire is a meritocracy. Those that can rise to the top. The inferior fall behind. It doesn't sound as if merit has anything to do with it. I just wonder. The original Sith weren't human. It's a contradiction. Contrary to what the Jedi teach, the world is not all light and dark. There are many shades, and many contradictions. I'm beginning to see that, but I'm not sure I like it. What was your master like? You had a master, right? Sith don't exactly respect their masters the way Jedi do. Why not? Don't you value what you can learn from your elders? Master Ryan and Osara were more like parents to me than my own parents. Yet you disobeyed them to follow me. Every Jedi must find her own path. Mine was with you. I'm sorry, I wasn't trying to start an argument. I'm still trying to figure things out. My lord, I'm sorry I was so harsh about the Empire earlier. There's just a lot I'm still trying to process. Let me know if I can do anything to make the adjustment easier. I know Jedi are supposed to be patient, but it's never been my strength. How would you feel if suddenly you had a Jedi Master and were serving the Republic? Sick to my stomach. Don't be flippant. I promise I won't let my misgivings interfere with our work. I changed my mind. I have nothing to say to you. I thought Jedi didn't get angry. How could I not be angry? Didn't you hear what happened? Just released on the Holonet. Sith in the Corellian system killed the group of free traders for failing to give them free passage to the Outer Rim. They murdered them. Then they should have known better than to resist a Sith. Passage to the Outer Rim is expensive. How are they supposed to make a living or feed their families? This rant is not very Jedi-like. At least one of us has compassion for these people. Where are your emotions, Sith? Or is it all fear and hatred for you? No love or sympathy? If there's gonna be any kind of peace agreement, the Empire has to stop this. It sounds like you want to make Jedi out of Sith. Free will is the ultimate good, hmm? Even if it results in the deaths of innocents? But what about their free will? Their desires? I guess they should have been Sith. Forget it. 
I should have expected you'd take the Sith side. I know Andronicus is rather attached to the ship, but I was wondering if I could fly it now and then. Master Ryan said I showed exceptional aptitude at flying in simulation training, but I've never been able to pilot the real thing. You'd have to get Andronicus to agree, but I have no problem with it. I'll be very careful, I promise. My lord, I've been studying the Sith Code lately, and I'm wondering what you think of the line, Peace is a lie. There doesn't seem to be a lot of room for interpretation, but I know you are an ardent proponent of peace. You should know by now that I do not allow the Sith to dictate how I live my life. Yes, I guess so. It still strikes me as strange how you can be Sith and value Sith teachings so little. The Jedi Code is the core of our philosophy. We learn it by heart and it's the foundation of everything we do. But I guess it's different for the Sith. The Sith Code is more a description than a guide. A Sith is the ultimate individual. There are as many different Sith philosophies as there are Sith. What about the Emperor? And the Dark Council? I thought they governed the Sith. They have their own aims. That's as far as their rule extends. It can't go on like that, you know. How can there be peace with the Sith Empire when every Sith does their own thing? This task we've taken gets more difficult every day. My lord, I must ask a favor of you. Our mission. We cannot hope to accomplish it without help. What are you suggesting? I'm suggesting we recruit more Jedi to our side. Yes, I know. There are Jedi who would help us. Who would see that a strong rational empire is the only path to peace. Clearly, you have a particular Jedi in mind. Master Simon Walls is known by many as a wise, open-minded Jedi. He brought the Sith Lord Karis Vale to the light and oversaw his initiation into the Jedi. He has retired in seclusion to Alderaan for personal study and meditation, but young Jedi still make pilgrimages to him. I would like to make a pilgrimage, and if possible, get his support. How do I know you aren't plotting against me? I wouldn't plot against you. I believe in our mission. I think Simon will support us. I'll return quickly, I promise. Believe him! I'm not a Jedi. He says I'm not a Jedi? Well, you're quick to anger, stubborn, and you left your training to follow a Sith. I'm not so sure you are a Jedi. Shut up. I'm not a Sith. I came to him for help, and he turned me away. It's not fair. I was the best Padawan Masters Ryan and Osara ever trained. I am a Jedi. Why do you cling to the Jedi Order? They will never accept you for who you are. I don't care. I'm a Jedi. I've never been anything else. The return of the Sith in this war has changed things. Sometimes compromise is necessary. Yes, I don't care what Master Simon said. Thank you, my lord, for helping me talk through this. If you hadn't become Sith, what did you want to be? I would have settled for... not a slave. Yeah. I guess I would have felt the same in your shoes. I've been thinking about this lately. I was trained to be a Jedi practically from birth. I wonder if it was the right thing. I never really got the chance to choose. You can do whatever you want now. I guess I'm still trying to figure out what I want. My lord, I know I'm not officially your apprentice, 
but I wanted to thank you. I know we've not always seen eye to eye, but I've learned so much from you and your example. You may not always follow the light, but you are good. Oh, you're going to make me cry. Don't tease. I'm serious. I feel more at one with the Force than I've ever felt. I have peace like the Jedi speak of and freedom like the Sith. So, thank you. My lord, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to read you this letter I received. I've been writing to my parents. I haven't seen them since I was little. Dear Ashara, we're glad to hear you're happy and well. We're very proud that you've become a Jedi. Asha is nearly 16 and plans to join Republic Special Forces. Love Mom and Dad. I haven't gotten around to telling them that I'm working with a Sith. I'm not sure they'd understand. You really ought to tell them. You think so? We only just started writing, and it's been 15 years since I last saw them. I guess you're right. I've been thinking more about what Master Simon said, and I think he was wrong. He said you weren't a Jedi. It's only natural you disagree. Not about me being a Jedi. Well, I mean, of course I'm a Jedi. I don't need a master to certify that. He believed we were wrong and that you were leading me astray, but he did nothing. Of course he didn't. He was weak. He knew he couldn't do anything. That's exactly what I mean. The Jedi's refusal to do what's necessary to fight, it makes them weak. The Jedi will never beat the Empire if they won't take the offensive. And they'll never win peace either if the Empire can't respect them. Peace is a noble goal, but it's not a means to an end. So you're saying peace is a lie? When it comes to making real change? Yes, I guess I am. A war rages, and Master Simon meditates in his clearing. Personal peace is one thing, but apathy, inaction, these things are unacceptable. I have a question for you, but you must promise not to mock me. I hope this isn't another of your philosophical quandaries. No, it's not that at all. I've never actually played Sabak, or Pazak, or any of those kinds of games. I was wondering if you'd teach me. It would be my pleasure. Thank you. That was a lot of fun. I can't believe I've never played those games before. My lord, I have incredible news. A group of Jedi have split from the Jedi Order. This is the perfect opportunity for us to win allies. Last time we tried this, it didn't work out so well. These guys aren't like Master Simon. They're hardliners, very anti-Sith. But their argument with the Jedi is over methods, not aims. Unlike Master Simon, they say they are willing to do whatever is necessary. It sounds like they'd be even less likely to support us. They are Jedi. They want peace. We have to at least try to make our case. I'm going to meet with them. I promise I won't be long. My lord. Thank you. We have new allies in the Rogue Jedi, but I couldn't have done it without your training. What did they say? They were skeptical at first. Like Master Simon, they would not accept me as a Jedi. But this time I knew what to say. You helped me understand. Sith and Jedi is an arbitrary divide. I don't know what I am, and I don't care. I told them the Jedi need to be willing to do whatever it takes, even ally with a Sith, to bring peace to the galaxy. You've learned a lot, Apprentice. Not all the Jedi were won over, of course. 
Their leader, Master Quintus, said that he would be unwise to turn his back on such conviction and determination. Thank you for letting me meet with them, my lord. Do you ever think maybe we're on the wrong side, doing the wrong thing? Morality is how the weak constrain the strong. I am true to myself. I think I would have hated you for saying that when we first met, but I can see how the Jedi use rules to keep people from their potential. Being strong isn't evil, it's how you use that strength that matters. I've been thinking about the future lately. About us, and about the Empire. It's clear the Empire won't change overnight. I've accepted that. But what about when we're dead? I have many followers. They will carry on my legacy. If you would allow it, I would be honored to pass on your legacy to your followers and your children. And to teach them what I know of the Jedi as well. That would be excellent. Even if we can't change the Empire now, the next generations will learn from your teachings and follow them.